What is going on, everyone? I am Steven Hero. You are the heroes themselves. Now, today, I'm back again for the second day in the room. I know my hair is looking crazy and stuff. Look at this, bro. Look at this. What the? What is that, bro? Anyways, yeah, and I'm back for the second day in the room because I'm supposed to do this every day, bro, but I've been messing up the past couple, you know, since I moved in, really. What? Anyways, um, yeah. So I went into my basement, okay, I was like, do, 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 open the bag in my storage area with all my figure boxes in it, and I pulled out two boxes of two figures that were on display, and now I want to review them for you guys, and that is Captain Phasma, well, that's not Captain Phasma, that's Unmasked Kylo Ren, Black Series, Captain Phasma, Black Series, I'm going to review both of those, and uh, let me just hold her right here for the thumbnail, and I'll talk about some stuff that's coming. I'm going to be reviewing my pops, and I'll call them the new series next to my figure reviews while I talk about their paint, and I'll talk about... Um, the character representation that the pop is like, you know, trying to mimic, say, movie Doctor Strange. I'll be talking about the movie, how he was in the movie instead of the comic book. Whatever the, the pop is representing, I'll talk about it. Anyways, time to. Oh, yeah, if you guys want to see one of them, watch my all my pop video or watch the one I posted yesterday, pick one and I'll review it. But if not, I'll review it by myself. Pick one myself. Anyways, let's go over the packaging. You get a nice shadow picture of uh, Phasma right there. And her name right there with some age stuff, some other stuff, Hasbro logo, people responsible for the figure, another shadow logo, Phasma right there, uh, a read up on her if you want to read that, pause that right now, uh, so black series right there, her number which is 6, window on top, window on the side, figure right there, seems to be it, let's get to it, oh yeah, and Disney, Woo! let's get to it and crack this video open, shall we, okay, First we'll go over accessories and then we'll look at the figure. She comes with her blaster, which is like a, a normal stormtrooper blaster, but with like a different like, you know, gold paint on it. Not really gold, but like not a white. You know, it's like golder, because you know, she's the, the leader of the stormtroopers. But yeah, it looks good. It's got nice paint on it. It's overall cool. And it does do the like there, it plugs into her leg and I'll show you that. <laughs> Gotta get her out. There you go, Jesus King Christ. Now, I really like this figure a lot. I like the character, even though she didn't do much. I just think she she is cool. I'm not going to give her the short end of the stick. But, uh, yeah, here's Phasma out of the packaging, looking real nice. You know, get you, the paint on her looks good. Let me block that. Yeah, there you go. Looks really good. She's, like, really tall also. So, like, next to the other figures that in your display, she is taller. And uh, once I do the Kylo review, I will put her next to him to show a, cons a size comparison so you'll see how much taller. Well, maybe I'll grab someone else. Say, here's a perfect example. Here's a normal Stormtrooper next to Phasma. Phasma's a little bit taller, but she's still taller, you know. Oh, there you go. There's the actual height difference. Let me stand them, actually. Stand the figures. There you go. You can see it at the bottom of the screen. That's how much taller she is. Which is nice because she is Captain Phasma. Anyways, this figure is really good. Let's go over the articulation. Uh, her head moves side to side, up and down, not that much at all because of her cape. The cape doesn't really stop that much articulation, but it does at the same time. Her arms move out about that much, even with the shoulder plants. So, she has single jointed elbows, as all Black Series do. Her wrists move up and down, side to side. She does have an ab crunch that goes forward, not at all. Back a decent amount, which is good to see. Oh, it does go forward a little bit. Um, she kicks forward, not at all, because... You know, the way the Stormtrooper's legs are how they are. Um, she doesn't kick forward, which sucks. Kind of messes up her movement. Same thing with this guy. He doesn't kick forward, but he's still a really cool figure. Anyways. Damn. Um, yeah, she's got double jointed knees. Ugh. I've never even done this with my Phasma figure. Double jointed knees. Kind of hurts me to do this to her, but it's cool to play with her because I never really have. She just went on display. The foot goes all the way down like that. Feet do move all the way down, all the way a decent amount up, not that much. She does have a beautiful ankle pivot, which looks good. Good ankle pivot. And uh, yeah, my mine has really good paint apps. Uh, I'll go over the cape. The cape has some alright details. Got a little latch thing right there. The red trim looks good. But yeah. And all in all, this this figure is sort of difficult to find, but if you can find it, go for you. I've only seen it once. The one time I seen it, I snatched it, and now it's mine. Gotta have Captain Phasma. But with that note, that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to become a hero today. It's that big red button right about there. Maybe right about there. I don't know. It might switch me around. But it's probably right there. Right there. Anyways, click it. And uh, click the bell icon so you know exactly when I post. Because I try to post every day, bro. Shout out to Jake Paul. I might not, though. But I try. Anyways, I'll talk to you heroes later. Um, peace.